Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Leah and today I thought I would do a baby haul for you. I was putting off making one of these videos for ages because there's not a lot of like big stuff that we have for the baby. We are waiting to move into our first home which will happen hopefully very very soon. So we were kind of waiting for that to happen so we could show you properly but then over Christmas Things got a little crazy and my room is now overflowing with boxes full of stuff for the baby. I am six months pregnant so a lot of the things that we are getting are like starting to build. I didn't want to let things get too big so that when we do come to this baby haul that there is like hundreds and hundreds of things to show you so I thought I'd do a lot of it now so that when we get more and we get the bigger things we can do those all in separate videos so it's not all a lot in one go so i'm going to start off with you i currently have three massive boxes a bag and a high chair in my room that has nowhere to go so i'm just going to start with this a lot of this stuff has been gifted to us and we are so thankful for that a lot of the things that we're having for the baby are like hand-me-downs and stuff but then we are buying a lot of the stuff for ourselves as well the reason why we're accepting hand-me-downs is because I have a brother and a sister and they both have really young children and they have a lot of stuff that they bought that just wasn't used that was either worn once or twice and they and they spent money on it and they want to get more use out of it we also have a family moses basket so instead of buying a brand new moses basket for the baby we wanted to use my family one because it has been passed down through generations i'm gonna stop blabbering now and i'm gonna get through some of this stuff the first thing is these vans harry bought these when he went to las vegas for his birthday and he really wanted to get these for the baby he wanted to just have like one item that we could splash out on the baby these are for around nine months plus so the baby will get wear out of them it's not like they're newborn and it'll wear it for about an hour and they are the cutest cutest little snoopy vans put them the right way leah little snoopy vans they're really cute and they have little tails and I just think they're absolutely adorable. Clothing wise, I may have gone a bit mad, um, but we have had a few people buying us clothing as well. So first of all, we have these two pack of little hats. Uh, one is blue with blue stars and the other one is just blue. We don't know the gender of our child. We haven't found out the gender of the baby at all, but I find that a lot of boys stuff is suitable for girls but girl stuff isn't suitable for boys i am fine with my son wearing pink i am fine with my daughter wearing blue from i think this is from amazon i just got this six pack of muslin squares now baby growth the <laughs> first baby grow in the box is this one that i let's face it i had to buy and it is this hogwarts baby grow with a detachable cape I mean, what child doesn't want to wear that? I saw this in mother care the other day when I was out, out with my friend Beck and I, I just had to buy it. Anything Harry Potter is amazing and my child is going to be forced into loving Harry Potter. I know it won't have to be forced but it will love Harry Potter and I just thought that this was really cute. The material feels really strong as well and I just thought it was really cute. I got it in a size three to six months it does look really big though but i just got it in three to six months because stuff like this it's novelty it's fun you kind of want to get your wear out of it um especially when it was i think it was like 12 pounds so you do want to get your wear out of it instead of your child wearing it when they are you know about a week old and then they're sick on it straight away so I thought I'd get it in that and then also I got this one at £7 and it's just this cute little Hogwarts sleeveless legless onesie then from H&M I got this two pack 
of onesies they're just sleeveless onesies this is just a plain white one and this is a grey one with these cute little mouses on them and I just thought that was really adorable and really sweet also with the H&M I just got this long sleeved navy vest onesie and another plain white one I think I have some more in there as well then I did splash out a bit in M&S Harry loves lions and he kind we've decided that we kind of want that to be like the theme of the nursery and stuff and I just saw this really cute full legged with feet onesie from M&S and it's got like little animals all over it like circus animals and I just thought that was really cute and this one came with it and it is just it's really cute and it says L is for lion with a embroidered lion on. We have more just plain white ones from H&M and a cute little navy and white long sleeve striped one. The next item of clothing is my final piece of Harry Potter clothing for the baby and I got this off Amazon. I saw it, fell in love with it and I just thought oh, I have to get it and it's this cute little long sleeved legless onesie that says snuggle this muggle and it also came with a little Gryffindor hat and little Gryffindor trousers I think that this is sized I think it's like 9 to 12 months so the baby will be wearing this every single day when it's 9 to 12 months next piece of clothing is from my best friend Beck. she's also really good friends with Harry as well which is like absolutely amazing I've known her for years and we asked her to be godmother and this is the little onesie that she got and it says welcome to the world baby Thacker for Christmas my brother and my sister-in-law got the baby this <laughs> which is it's got a little oh my god I've only just noticed it's got a little claws at the end and it is a cute little two piece set so it's the onesie and the cute little hat the horns and it is obviously Monsters Inc I love anything Disney Pixar all that jazz so that was really cute present also from H&M I have these cute little long onesies that are feetless my baby's going to be born in May so we're trying not to buy loads of things with feet. But this is a cute little two set and it's just Winnie the Pooh on that side. And then this is my favourite, look how cute that is. And then the last piece of clothing that we bought is some a five piece set that my mum and dad bought us. And it is this cute little set so you have a sleeveless vest at the front which is just striped, a long footed baby girl back with giraffes on a cute bib a hat and some little scratch mittens and i just think it's absolutely adorable we do have a few other things at harry's house i literally have like the tiniest box i think i did like a vlog and showed you what was in the box in the box in the box um before i'll try and link that below if i can find it the next box of stuff which is absolutely huge the next thing was gifted to us by my brother and my sister-in-law at christmas and this is just a set of five towels which is really cute something like there's just stuff i just don't think about i mean um pregnancy at pregnancy plus that i use has loads and loads of stuff on there it has like a massive shopping list of everything you need to buy stuff like that's on there but i always just forget um they also got us these packs of shawls so we've got four shawls here which is amazing we have this is what i really love this is what me and harry are gonna do or I might get my niece and nephew to help me with this one. And it is Create Your Own Bean Bear. And it is from Hubbycraft. And you have the like dinosaur alligator whatever there. And you... Oh, it's a dragon. Wow. And then you put in all the stuff and the beans and stuff in yourself and stitch it up. And I just thought that that was really cute. Then they also got this little George baby machine washable cloth so we've got like this 
elephant on a blanket and you've also got a bit of a rattle that matches it oh we've got more clothes in here that i didn't know about this this was the six pack of bodysuits that i said that i got from h&m so then from my sister she got us these little milestone cards i don't know if you've heard of these but they're basically different cards that you can take photos of the baby with then she also bought baby scan photo frame um at the moment the baby scan photos are kind of just like scattered all over the house but this is really cute it's got three different slots and you put the first scan the second scan and here i am which i think is really cute and it'll be a really nice addition for when we have our own place adorable little penguin slippers for the baby and then I bought these. These are some nice little line dribble bibs from M&S that go with the onesies that I bought. And then I think I just got these from Ikea, really cheap, and I'm gonna take the labels off them. Um, and it is just a pack of three bibs. This was gifted to us by two of my old flatmates that I used to live with at university. We met up with them because they're still at uni doing their final year. And it is this gorgeous little jelly cat teddy bear white and it is oh, beautiful my niece poppy has one of these in grey and is her favourite thing ever she doesn't go anywhere without it so I was really pleased to have one of them something that I bought for myself that let's face it you don't have to buy for yourself and it's not supposed to be bought for yourself but it is a baby wishes wishes wish, wishes advice and happy thoughts for baby and mum to be so i got this off asos i don't know if they still do it because i saw it i thought oh that'd be really nice if someone bought it me and it was about 10 pounds and then i went on asos one day and i saw that it was reduced to like three or four pounds and i was like you know what i'll just buy it for myself and basically what it is is it's for baby showers so i'm going to be using this in my baby shower you just leave it out the pen and people go through and they write down wishes advice happy thoughts for mum and baby and i just thought that was really good really really cute if i could get my words out uh this one says i love thinking about how blank you'll be with your baby with love blank so people will fill it out with different thoughts and feelings i was going to do this at my baby shower but the way that i was going to do it was i was just going to have it on pieces of paper for people to have but i think it's really cute to have it all in a book so that i can look through it harry can look through it my parents can look through it family can look through it and especially baby can look through it i bought this from poundland this was a pound and i saw it in there the other day i bought this like a month ago at the very beginning of vlogmas but i know that they still do it obviously it's a pound and it is just a ceramic wish part with a thing at the bottom so you can take the money out and it says baby's future and i just think it's really cute it's a really nice addition and for a pound you can't really go wrong the last set of stuff that we have is right here so this is a cute little countdown weeks sort of like ornament <laughs> why am i really crap at explaining things um and basically you just write down the weeks until you are due. I just think this is really cute. I hang this up on my wardrobe and have it in my room. So it's a nice little reminder of how close I'm getting to see my baby seeing this, this pregnancy. Seems like the longest thing in the world. I got that off Amazon and I'll link it below. I also got this off Amazon and it is my favourite. It is a bump for joy book. And basically what you do is you fill it out. I've got a card off somewhere there and you fill it out, I need to stick all these down and you fill it out, so this is preconception and you fill it out about you and your partner or about yourself and then you have all the different trimesters and you put in pictures of your bump, you fill out your symptoms, appointments you put in every single part of your pregnancy down and I absolutely love it and then it goes all the way to labour and delivery and you put all your stuff, your first photo of the baby picture of you going home of the baby announcement and stuff and your family photo right at the end and i just think it's really cute my mum kept a baby book for me when i was little for the first couple of months i was alive and i always look through it i think it's so weird to look back to see like what my favorite song was what my favorite food was and stuff like that 
so I just really wanted the same for my baby as a way for them to look back on everything that I experienced and how I bonded with them. Um, I've been able to write down the first time I felt the baby move and the kicks and stuff and it's just really nice. I also think it's a really great way of keeping Harry involved, like feeling like he's involved and I will link that also below. We also have a, a really nice baby blanket, it's just plain white from the white company that my sister got us for Christmas. My mum knitted a baby blanket and it is how gorgeous is that? So this is going to be the baby's like proper blanket. Um, my mum knitted this herself. It took her a couple of weeks. She really wanted to do this because she did this with my niece and my nephew. She knitted their baby blankets and it is absolutely gorgeous. I feel like mum is always going to be there with us and the baby which is really important to me. We also have this was gifted to us which is just some soft little toys. Also my brother and his girlfriend, they are decluttering their house and they had a Ikea high chair which is just over there but it looks an absolute mess at the moment because I've got loads of our stuff for the house there. Um, so they gifted that to us and then this is the sort of bump out for the high chair. My niece is like three now so she doesn't need it and so they just gifted it to us and it's like that on the back and I just think it's really cute. I think it's from Ikea because I'm sure I've seen it in Ikea before. And then they also gifted us this little music chime night light that um, they attach to the cot and then it also puts stuff on the ceiling for the baby. And then the last things that we bought was I got these on my boots points card and it is a travel steriliser for dummies. Two plain dummies and two clip-ons for the dummies that say I heart mommy and I heart daddy. thought they were just really cute. So that is everything that we have for the baby so far. Um, we have organised prams and cots and Moses baskets and high chairs and all that sort of stuff but that's the biggest stuff that we are waiting to get delivered to us properly and for us to put up. Um, when we move into our place I really wanted to do like a, like a baby nursery tour and stuff like that and I just thought I'll wait till that moment when we're in our house to show you all that stuff. So thank you so so much for watching this video, I hope I didn't bore you with all this baby mumbo jumbo but I am getting to the point in my pregnancy where this stuff is my life, it's literally taking over my entire life but I couldn't be happier about it. I just want to say a massive massive thank you to anyone who has gifted us any of this stuff, anyone that's even just sent me a message on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook and said congratulations and wished us the best or anyone that's even given us advice we always you know love hearing people's stories I know that a lot of people are like oh don't tell your birthing story but I genuinely want to hear as much as I can so thank you for anyone that showed us any love and support during this journey it's absolutely amazing my bumper's just like kicking it always does this towards the end of a video like hurry up hurry up mum um but yeah thank you so so much me and Harry are overwhelmed with the help that we have experienced and the support that we've been getting off everyone it's my first pregnancy and I just can't wait to meet my baby so everyone's making this so so special if you don't follow me on any of my social media then why don't you <laughs> all the social media links are in the description box below please hit subscribe and like it make a huge difference to my life it'd be so amazing and thank you for joining me on my journey hope to see you all very very soon love you all